Hi, today in Cooking at Home with City Catering, I'm gonna be making some cheesy scrambled eggs with homemade potato wedges, and we're gonna serve them with some baked beans. First, you have to turn on the oven at 200 degrees. Then um, you should wash your potatoes and dry them. And then I'm just gonna cut the potatoes into wedges. Now, if the potatoes are um, this size, I think you can just cut them into fours. If they are a bit bigger, um, you could cut them into maybe uh, six or eight. This one is a bit bigger, I'm gonna cut it into six. I'm just gonna season it, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I'm going to add the oil. And then with your hands, just mix them around. And then when they are well mixed, we are gonna put them on a tray. Just spread them out. And then we're gonna put them in the oven and we're gonna cook them for around 45 minutes. Okay, now I'm just gonna prepare the tomatoes for the scrambled eggs. So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna quarter them. The thing about the tomato for the scrambled eggs is that we don't want the inside, so we are gonna scoop it out. So like that. Just carefully. We don't want any of the seeds really because uh, it would make the scrambled eggs too wet. Now when you have the tomatoes like that, we just want them into small enough pieces. So like that. So um, I have the butter in the frying pan. I'm gonna turn on the heat to low. And while the butter is melting, I'm just gonna make this, mix the scrambled eggs. Uh, so we'll have the eggs here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. Um, and then I'm gonna add seasoning. And now we're just gonna whisk it. We want to make sure that the egg yolk and the white is well mixed. Now we can see that the butter has melted and it is starting to froth slightly. So we're gonna put the egg mixture in. The trick when making a scrambled eggs is that you can't make them in a hurry. You have to take your time. Uh, you have to do it slowly and you have to cook them in a slow heat. You also have to keep on stirring because you don't want to end up with big lumps at the end. Although in this recipe we we'll use milk, um, if you want to treat yourself, you can add a little bit of cream instead of milk and it makes them really, really creamy. And while you're cooking, you have to make sure that you are con constantly um, stirring the bottom of the frying pan. Now when you see that the eggs are not too far from done, I'm gonna add the tomatoes and I'm going to add the cheese. The thing with the scrambled eggs as well is that you need to stop cooking them just before they are done because while after you turn off the heat, they will still continue cooking for a little while longer. Okay, I'm after turning off the heat now. And can you see that they are just a tiny bit still runny, so now we are just gonna keep on stirring them for another minute or so and then they'll be ready to be served. 